Yeah, I'm looking for Dan or Ted. Is anybody home? Ah, uh, I heard that CC went away, and I don't know. Is something wrong? Yeah, it's an emergency. Oh. What's the suitcase for? Are you going away? Of course I am. Haven't you heard? I'm leaving town. Strange hour to be departing. Come, come, Mason. I wanted to get an early start. Oh, I see. I guess that explains the uh, thermos thing, doesn't it? Don't tell me. You like to have coffee beside you when you're driving, right? As a matter of fact, I do. So you're going away. Mm -hmm. Shame we didn't get to know each other better. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm sure I will be back from time to time. Until then, goodbye. And I hope you find Cece. Thank you. My best to Warren. I'm sorry? Your friend from the museum, Warren Lockridge? Yes. I've already told the police everything I know. Yes, I know. I read the report. It's very interesting. Even more interesting was your sudden decision to leave town. I was under the impression that you were helping the Lockridges. I was. But now that Lionel is out of jail, they no longer need my services. Who told you Lionel was out of jail? I just assumed... He's that... not. He's behind bars where he belongs and where I imagine he will stay for a good long time to come. I see. Well, that's your business and I've done everything I can do. Liz. If you do know where Warren is, you'd be wise to tell me. Because when we find him, and we will find him, we're going to ask him how he escaped and who helped him. And if, by some chance, your name should come up, you'd be in a great deal of trouble. I have already told you, Mason. I have no idea where he is. Yes. Well, there's always time to change your mind. When people cooperate with me, I tend to be more forgiving of their past mistakes. Bye, Mason.